Good afternoon, it's Patrick Egan away, cash.com, September the um, 6th, and this is the second transaction. We actually um, laid Angeletti at 3.75 and 3.8. It was drifted to 6.8 at the top at the off. Uh, and let's switch to the video, see what's happening. It's a yellow stripe across his chest. It looked as though Andrea Etzini was very keen to make the running here. Majud is about three parts of a length down in second place. Then uh, Angeletti back in third from Safari Team. Lockfleet is fifth and sixth is Galloping Queen and together at the rear of the field, Dream of Fortune to the outside of Sunset Boulevard. Looks as though the pace might just be slackening a tad as they run towards the top turn. Carlton Scroop, maybe Andrea's trying to wait in front here. Maybe that's his cunning plan. On the outside is Majud. On the inside, Agiletti. They're followed by Safari Team. Out wide then Galloping Queen of Lockfleet. And at the back of the field then are still Sunset Boulevard and Dream of Fortune. Into the top end. Carlton Scroop just pressing on again. Gets a couple of shakes of the reins from Majud in second place. Agiletti remains third. Safari team the favourite in the hoop sleaze is back in fourth, followed by Lock Fleet. Then Galloping Queen Sunset Boulevard in the pink jacketed Dream of Fortune at the tail of the field. Three and a half furlongs left to cover. Still Carlton Scroop. He's got Majud now being driven along by Tom Queeley in second place. Agiletti's going a bit better in behind them in third. Safari team on the outside with a chance. Then Lock Fleet, Galloping Queen Sunset Boulevard Dream of Fortune as they run into the final turn. Carlton Stroop still leads the way. A length to Majud. Here's Safari Team now sweeping around the outside, followed by Agiletti and Lockfleet, and then Galloping Queen down the straight. Carlton Stroop coming down the centre. Plenty of room for Agiletti on the far side. Safari Team thundering down the near side. Dream of Fortune begins to unwind. The Safari Team is the one that's Safari Team, and Safari uh, team uh, as we mentioned on the Dream members page, is one of the main dangers as no Rom that one uh, quite easily so that's uh, another successful lay using the cash tap ISO so we have one successful one today and uh, the earlier one which went against us but still overall a uh, very successful run um, using the cash tap ISO selection process um, let's just uh, switch over for a moment to the members page to read what was written Just have to put the password in. Um, and here we are for today's recommendations. Um, as you can see, it says here the result for the previous event where we recommended to uh, lay Yair Hill. We said the dangers were um, oil strike, and watch Amigo and um, Amwell, Pino and Comanche Queen and the result on that particular event was yeah Hill did win the race um, uh, by about half a length I believe or a length um, and close seconds um, not that that affects the result um, were Oil Strike and Comanche Queen um, but really just to demonstrate that um, these are not sort of uh, have a guess type arrangements and here's the uh, write-up for um, the 510 we've just watched, Lay Agiletti um, at 3.75 which we did get um, uh, earlier on although it drifted quite a lot after that and do not lay any higher than 4 for real value, Safari Team um, which won the race, a Dream of Fortune and Maju present uh, the real threats, so I'm not sure if we switch on to Racing Post site if they have the full I haven't got the commentary there um, so I'll update uh, that again but thank you for listening and it's Patrick Egan at wearcash.com and you can um, get involved with this by going to www.wearcash.com um, and when you get there you'll find that uh, if I could type this in properly When you get there you'll be prompted to um, give your email details and please do so get a free report and sign up for the membership. Thank you.